Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now today we'll be discussing the latest industry data that shows India has surpassed Japan as the world's third largest auto market in 2022. So according to a report from the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers, India sold at least 4.2 million new vehicles in 2022, surpassing Japan's 4.2 million. This marks a significant milestone for the Indian automotive industry as it solidifies India's position as a major player in the global market. But it's important to note that India's auto sales haven't always been performing at their potential. In fact, in 2018, approximately 4.4 million vehicles were sold but that number fell below 4 million in 2019 due to a credit crunch in the non-bank sector and in 2020 sales dropped even further due to the covid lockdown falling below 3 million units so let's go to this report from wyan industry data says india surpassed japan in auto sales last year making it the world's third largest auto market behind china and the united states the numbers say that India sold at least 4.25 million new vehicles, going past Japan's 4.2 million. A report from the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers says that new vehicle deliveries in India will total 4.13 million between January and November 2022, adding December's sales volume from Maruti Suzuki, India's largest automaker. That brings the total to around 4.25 million units. India's sales volume is expected to rise even further with the inclusion of pending fourth quarter commercial vehicle sales figures and Japan on the other hand sold some 4.2 million vehicles last year as I mentioned. So the fact that India's auto sales hit a record high in 2022 is seen as a positive growth for the country's economy. Auto sales are often used as a barometer for a country's economic performance and this news is certainly welcome after the challenges in the past few years. It's not only just passenger vehicles as you just mentioned that are driving this growth. Commercial vehicle sales are also on the rise in India. Maru to Suzuki, the country's largest automaker, saw a total of 4.2 million units in sales volume in 2022. I'm just repeating what she says here, and that number is expected to rise even further with inclusion of pending fourth quarter commercial sales figures. Let's continue. That's a dip of 5.6 percent from 2021. Now, as per a report, the Indian automobile market has not been performing to potential in the recent years. In 2018, approximately 4.4 million vehicles were sold. But the volume fell below 4 million units in 2019, owing primarily to the credit crunch that hit the non-bank sector that year. Vehicle sales had fallen even further in 2020, dropping below 3 million units due to the COVID lockdown. In 2022... In yes, COVID affected a number of things and it's one of the reasons why it is so difficult to get vehicles in today's market because when they actually came back, so was the demand and rise of electric vehicles. And a lot of manufacturers have suddenly slowed down the production of ICE vehicles in collaboration for the increased production of EVs for the market. India's mobile automobile sales hitting the highest ever in the calendar year is seen as positive news for the Indian economy. Automobile sales are often cited as a barometer of the country's economic performance. So as for Japan, the country saw a dip in sales in 2022 with a total of 4.2 million vehicles sold. And this is a drop of 5.6% from the previous year. It's worth noting that Japan's auto industry has faced its own challenges in recent years with declining domestic demand and increasing competition from overseas manufacturers. Because and in latest news, GM has also surpassed Toyota as the world's global manufacturer. So what does all this mean for the global auto market? Well, it's clear that India is a growing force to be reckoned with and the country's strong auto sales in 2022 are a positive sign for its economy, with China and the United States still leading the way as the top two auto markets in the world, it will be interesting to see how India's rise to third place impacts the industry in the years ahead. And this is a wonderful news again for India because a surge in the market will also mean an increase in jobs, an increase in employment, an increase in spending and an uptick in the GDP and a boost for their economy. Okay, so let me know what you all think by leaving your comments below remember to grab a copy of my ebook the parts manager guide please smash that like button on your way out it will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so until next time